When I finished college, my brother Nathan was working on a farm up in Ontario. That summer, I rode my bike across the Northeast to visit him. It was the first time in a while that I'd had a chance to really step back and think about things. Life was moving fast, but what scared me wasn't that the past was gone. It was that the future was still so uncertain. And when I first got here, it was pretty shocking the way time slowed down because I was here in March. You know, every day or so, things change a little bit and it seems like it takes forever for the pasture to green up. I think the way both of us feel right now is, is that while we're still young and we don't have families to feed, we might as well try to go the idealistic route. Right. for a while. The, the, not, the risks that we're taking at this stage in life are a lot less than, right. than we would be 10 years down the road. Right. Last time you saw Grandma was Christmas. Which Grandma? Uh, Polly. Polly. I don't know. What do you think when you visit her? when we're all there and she's just hanging out in a wheelchair. I think it's, it's sad to me. This is a weird question to ask, but do you think it would have been better if she had died like three years ago? I think, I think she was done living a long time ago. I can't remember all that well what she was as a person. I mean, I can, but it's fading. I think you're right. It has been so long that when I see her, I think about what it means that for mom and dad to grow older. You know, I think about what she represents because that's sort of all that's left is that she represents something and that there's not much of a person left there. 